What I'm gonna do is be taking these nail clippers right here and I'm just gonna trim off this excess suede. I just dropped my nail clippers, I gotta start this over. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into my channel and in this video today, we are going to be finding out whether or not a suede eraser actually does what it says it does. And that is erase scuff marks from suede. Now I've tested this out on leather and a toe cap before, but I have not had the opportunity to actually test out the suede eraser on actual suede. But luckily enough for me, or I guess you could say unluckily enough for me, I was walking around the other day in my hair sevens and I managed to scuff the toe box up wicked bad. If anyone is wondering what happened, pretty much I just wasn't paying attention and if I had to explain it in further detail, it went a little something like this. Hey man, are you still gonna make that Shanghai custom video out of those Lenny Fives? Nah, because the Shanghai hype is completely gone, man. It's not worth making a video anymore. Nah, I definitely think that you still need to make the video, bro. I think a lot of people still want to see that. Bro, I gotta call you back. Well, wait a minute, what happened? Are you okay? Why do you need to leave? Because I hate you. So now I am stuck with an extremely nice pair of Air Jordan 7s. The only problem is there are massive scuffs on the toe box, along with some permanent suede damage. I really messed up the toe box of the shoe. If you take a closer look, you can see it's all on the inside of the shoe and on the toe box, a little bit on the toe cap. I'm definitely going to be using the suede eraser. Hopefully it is going to get it off of the toe cap and off of the suede. But obviously that is something that we are not going to be able to find out until we actually test it out ourselves. So with that being said, let's go straight to my workstation, grab this suede eraser again off the shelf, and get to work. All right, so like I said, there is some permanent damage on the shoe right here, but that does not mean that we can't put a little band-aid fix on it. What I'm gonna do is be taking these nail clippers right here, and I'm just gonna trim off this excess suede. I just dropped my nail clippers, I gotta start this over. Just kidding, I'm not gonna be starting it over, and we're just gonna go in and snip off this excess suede just to make it look as nice and smooth as possible because like I said, this is permanent damage when it scuffs up like this to this extent. So the best thing to do, like I said, is to take off the excess suede and just push it down. It's not gonna take it away completely, but it is going to mask it as best as possible. And now, back to the primary point of this video, we are going to be taking this scuff eraser from a shoevenator and actually trying to get these scuffs out of this very nice suede. And while I'm opening up this packaging, if you guys wanna save 20% off of your entire order over at rejuvenator.com, be sure to use my discount code at checkout. It is X Chase Machini. Like I said, it'll save you 20% off of your entire order and hopefully that'll make you happy. If not, I don't really know what else I can do for you. But like I said, we are going to actually be taking this to the suede and we're going to see if this suede eraser actually does what it says it's meant to do. So let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this little scuff mark right here. It's really hard to see it on camera, but it's really prominent in person. So this might not be the best example. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing right now. So we're gonna take the suede eraser, try to get it a little bit better in focus, and we're gonna see if this thing works. Let's go. It looks like the scuff is coming up. I'm not really liking the shavings, but I will actually be going right now and getting the actual brass bristle suede brush. Give me just a second. Okay, so I got the regular suede brush just to get this like shavings of this eraser off of here. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, good job, Chase. Just trying to get the shavings of the eraser off of the shoe so I can actually see how good of a job it's done. Now I'm taking the actual brass bristle brush here and just re-napping that suede. It looks like that scuff is completely gone right now. We're gonna move on to this section right here. You can definitely see the scuffing a little bit better on this portion. So let's see right now. This will be not the ultimate test, but a pretty good test to put this on. Let's go. Now while I'm doing this, I should let you know, if you want to use a suede eraser, you really don't want to push down too hard because you can permanently damage the suede, just like it is right here, like I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. But if I had to make a judgment call right now, I would go ahead and say that this suede eraser is doing exactly what it says it does. I'm gonna brush that away, take the brass bristle brush to it. Let's see here. Wow, man, all the scuffs are pretty much gone. 
That's actually really impressive. Like I know I've used this on leather before. This is the first time, like I said, using this on actual suede. I'm pretty impressed. A little bit right here. Come on, get in there. There we go. That is definitely not too bad. Now we have some more scuff marks right there. Look at that. I should have started off with that one. We're just gonna go straight into it, see how this stuff works. Definitely use a little bit more. I'm gonna keep on going. I need to get these scuffs off the actual toe cap here as well. I'm not 100% sure if this, oh wow, it's working very well actually. Very surprised, actually I'm not surprised at all because I've used these on a pair of AirTech Challenges before and it took the scuffs off very, very easily. This is very impressive, man. Who would have thought that just a, a racer would do something like this? That is really not too bad, if I do say so myself. Now on the other shoe, we have another scuff on the toe box, so while I'm here, I might as well just give it a shot, see how it works. It looks like there is a little bit of permanent damage on here as well, but it's not sticking out, so I can't really clip it with the nail clippers, so it's just something that I'm gonna have to live with. It is lifting up these scuffs like no one's business. I'm so impressed with this, I can't believe this. Now this right here is a scratch. All that stuff in there is a scratch, but there was a scuff on top of the scratch and it took that completely off with no drama whatsoever. We have a little scuff right there as well. Let's see if we can take it off. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now before we jump into the next scene, I figured I would show you guys another thing that you could use this suede eraser for, and that is actually cleaning the bottoms. You see all this dirt right here? Just watch as the suede eraser works its magic. Definitely still needs a clean, but it's a damn good start. So yeah, if I had to make a judgment call on this Rejuvenator suede eraser, or really any suede eraser, I'm just endorsing Rejuvenator because it's what I have on hand at the moment, I would have to say that it does the job that it says it does, and I'm very happy right now. I mean, I'm not happy about this permanent damage right here because there's like literally nothing that I can do, but at least I didn't have to wash the shoe because one thing that I know for sure is that I can't stand washing Nubuck and washing suede because you have to be extra careful when you wash them. But with a product like this, you don't have to worry about it. But at the end of the day, it is entirely up to you whether or not you wanna buy a product like this. And I know you're probably sitting there, well, a couple of you at least saying like, yo, I can just go to Staples and buy a regular pencil eraser and it will do the exact same thing. I would not do that because something tells me it would actually leave a pink residue on the suede and you definitely don't want that. So if you want my advice, I would stick to the white pencil erasers or if you want to be 100% sure that you are not going to damage the material, go ahead and get yourself a suede scuff eraser. I highly recommend this scuff eraser right here and if you don't want my advice, then why did you click on this video in the first place? It doesn't have to necessarily be from Rejuvenator. I know that a lot of companies make this. It's just a company that I personally trust, so I highly recommend this product. With that being said, I'm gonna close out this video. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into my channel, and remember to save 20% off of your entire order over at Rejuvenator.com. Use my discount code. It is Chase Machini. It'll save you 20% off of your entire order, like I said. I have said that way too much, Chase. You gotta close out the video, and as always, have yourself a good day. Peace.